What's up, YouTube? Jose, coming at you guys with my first video. It is currently 1.01 a.m., basically the next day over here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm coming at you guys with the Q&A, with the questions you guys asked me on Instagram. All right, so the first person asked me, how old are you? I am 19 years old. The second person asked me, do you have a girlfriend? I actually don't have a girlfriend. I recently broke up with my girlfriend like about two months ago. But I am talking to a girl right now. Hopefully it goes good. Wish me luck. <laughs> the third person asked me, where are you from? Phoenix, Arizona this is where I'm living at right now. The fourth person asked, where do you, where do you want to get with your channel? Where I want to go with my channel, well, I just want to do it for fun. I'm not doing it for money or anything like that, but I do want it to be a full-time job. So it kind of is for money, I guess you could say that. But I do want to do challenges. I do want to do pranks. I do want to go out and vlog for you guys. Just make fun videos for you guys and just do what I'd love to do. This is, this is what I've been trying to do since I was younger. I'm really young and now I'm doing it and I'm excited to do my first video. The fifth person asked me what type of car or truck do you drive? I do drive a 2002 Chevy Silverado. The sixth person asked me what is your dream car that you want to get? My dream car that I do want to get is a Subaru WRX STI. I have a truck right now because I was into trucks before back then but now I got into cars so now I want a car I don't know if you guys know what type of car that is I will put a picture on the screen the seventh person asked me what school did you graduate from I did graduate from Washington High School that's also in Phoenix Arizona the eighth person asked what will you do with the money you get from your channel? With the money that I do get with my channel, well, I will make the my videos better, the quality better, get a better camera, make better videos for you guys. But also, I like to help my family out and also help you guys out and give you guys giveaways. The ninth person asked, how many subscribers do you want to have by the end of 2021? I do. Anything is possible. I'd be happy with anything, but I do want to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 or 50,000, doesn't really matter. The 10th person asked, when or why did you start wearing hats? So this is a funny story. So it started off in junior year. Junior year, I did go to a barber shop that I usually don't get a haircut at. It, I went there because the other one wasn't open where I usually get a haircut at. And so I went to that barber shop, so I basically cheered on my barber, which I shouldn't have done. Should have just waited for the next day. But I didn't get a haircut there because I was desperate because we had a school the next day. And so I did get a haircut there. I came out without liking my hair. I was really mad when I got home. I just stayed in my room and I just, I was really mad. But then I asked my dad, I asked my dad if he has any hats and he said yeah i have a hat for you and i'm like oh okay like and he gave me two hats and well i only liked one of them and so i tried that hat on and what i actually liked that hat how i looked in it so i actually liked start i started wearing hats since junior year since then since i got a bad haircut and well yeah and well now i usually go to my barbershop now i don't go anywhere else <laughs> i will put a picture up to the first hat that I did wear but the 11th person asked how many bodies you have I can't say that that's personal but just know that it's low <laughs> but the 12th person asked have you ever got bullied if so why actually I did get bullied I did get bullied eighth grade all of eighth grade coming all the way to freshman year I did get bullied because of my face. Uh, it's not good right now, I know, but it was worse back then. 
and in eighth grade well over summer seventh to eighth grade coming to eighth grade uh i did go to one of my aunt's house i don't know if this is what caused the breakout of my face but i did eat a lot of candy with the chocolate fountain that they had there i don't know if that's the breakout i don't know if that was the cause of the breakout that i had uh or maybe it was just puberty it was just natural but i that's what happened and then overnight i did start growing a lot of pimples it was like they were really huge they were purple they were red and well i still have them but it's not as bad as before but i did get bullied a lot in eighth grade all of eighth grade that i didn't even want to go to school anymore i got bullied a lot i would sometimes even cry and one time i went to the principal and while i tried talking to them telling them the people that would bully me but they didn't do nothing about it so i didn't want to go to school no more but i still went even though i got bullied because i had to get my education but what i will tell you guys if you guys do have acne you guys shouldn't care it's gonna go away with time it won't always be there but also don't use products that people tell you to use like say if a doctor recommends you something don't be using those kinds of stuff just wash your face with the cleanser or with the soap and it'll go away by time. 13th person asked, how many pairs of shoes do you have? I don't know the exact amount of shoes that I do have. I don't have very many right now. But I do have decent ones right now. I'll show you guys in another video. 14th person asked, how many hats do you have? I have about 10 or 15. I've been buying them since that time that I got a bad haircut. And well, I have a lot now, and some of them even have my name on it, as you could tell. Right here has my name on it. But yeah. Um, the 15th person asked, How long have you been working out for? I do work out. I did start working out since junior year, late junior year. I did stop working out because of one of the girls that i was with i was in a toxic relationship and she wouldn't actually let me go she wouldn't even let me wear shorts to the gym which is funny <laughs> even to this day i laugh about that and even i tell people now that she wouldn't let me wear shorts. they wouldn't even laugh too because you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing that to your boyfriend if you have a boyfriend don't tell them what to wear or anything because they're gonna leave you <laughs> but i did start working out junior year to more towards the end and I did start working out for about six months because of that relationship and I started going again for about four months straight I did start getting my body back and all that but then I did start talking to another girl and it wasn't toxic it was a good relationship but then I did find out that she was cheating on me with one of her good friends and well, I did get really bad from there because I did find out everything they were doing and while she was with me. So that really got to me. So I stopped going for like about two months. But then I told myself I had to get up. You know, that happens. There's a lot more girls out there. And we have to keep going with life and you got to keep doing what you got to do and just wait for the next one. And well, yeah, I stopped working out for two months there. But then I started just working out now. I've been working out for like about two weeks now again. And I've been getting results now. I've been taking creatine now, which I've never taken before. I've been starting to take creatine and well, I actually like it. It's not bad. And yeah, I started drinking more water too. And well, yeah. The 16th person asked, how many exes do you have? I do have two. Well, serious relationships, I do have two exes. I've been talking to other girls, but I never made it to that stage. The 17th person asked, when did you have your first kiss? I actually do remember this still, and I actually do remember the girl's name too, but I'm not gonna say it. Uh, my first kiss was in third grade. Uh, it was a dare from one of my cousins. We were playing truth or dare, and so we're at a party. Yeah, you might be saying, like, why were you at a party in third grade? Well, it was a family party. And, well, yeah, one of my cousins uh, dared me to kiss uh, one of his friends, which was a girl. <laughs> but, yeah, I did kiss her. It wasn't nothing crazy. It was just, like, a pet kiss. It wasn't nothing crazy. But, yeah, that was my first kiss, third grade. 
the 18th person asks, where are your parents from? Well, my dad is from Chihuahua and my mom, she's from El DF. Uh, but yeah, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I was born here. The 19th person asks, what type of videos are you going to do? The type of videos I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do challenges, pranks, and stuff with my subscribers. And well, now, well, I'm just doing videos by myself right now because, you know, it's just an intro video so you guys can get to know me and what my YouTube video is going to be about. And well, yeah. 20th person asks, are you going to make YouTube your full-time job? Like I said, I do want it to make a full-time job. And but right now I do currently work with my dad in construction. But I am doing this. I am starting YouTube now, so I could try to make it a full-time job. And hopefully, you know, with time, it gets better. And you know, I don't. I'm not as camera shy as I am now, as you guys saw. I am stuttering. <laughs> but yeah, that was the last question. And well, yeah, like how I said, hopefully, you know. I do end up with 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2021, or at least 50,000. I'll be happy with anything, but if we could reach to that point, I'll be really happy because I do really want to make YouTube my full-time thing because I've been trying to do it since I was really young. But anyways, that is the end of the video. I am going to end it here. Jose is out. Peace.